Good morning, welcome to Wake Up Well this Saturday morning. And we've been looking at the book of Nahum this past week. Today we, have, we are coming to the end of the book of Nahum, chapter 3. And we're going to be looking at uh, God's judgment on, on the Assyrians. So what are uh, the sins of uh, the empire? Well, in verse 1 and verse 4, it tells us that the city was built on the blood of innocent people and injustice. And they also lack trust and faith in God. In verse 4, um, they were steep in idolatry. They used witchcraft and led many people astray. And the book goes on to explain in great detail the judgment that God has um, is that God has against this uh, Assyrian Empire as a result of their sin, as a result of their cruelty, as the result of what they have done to the people of God. In verses uh, 11 to uh, 19, it tells us what um, what will happen to them and this is what will happen. They will live in fear and um, their protection is removed. Uh, they will become weak and helpless. The whole city will be destroyed by fire and by sword by this invading invading army, uh, the, the Babylonians. Um, the, there won't be any protection, there won't be any help, and there is no escape for them. Their wealth is being stripped. Uh, the leaders are going to die so that nobody are looking after the Assyrian people. The world, and lastly, the world is going to celebrate the destruction of the Assyrian Empire because of their continual cruelty. As Nahum um, prophesied this over Nineveh and over the Assyrian Empire, in, in verses 8 to 10, God reminded uh, the Assyrian people um, that the fall of Egypt uh, Thebes is, was the capital city of Egypt at that time and it was the very city that uh, Assyria destroyed and conquered um, when it took over the Egyptian uh, empire and, it, and God is reminding them that what they have done to um, the Egyptian empire is exactly and, and perhaps even worse uh, perhaps even worse in what um, is going to happen to them. And we can see in this book that God is at work in history and he won't allow a violent empire endure forever. And his commitment is to bring down the violent and the arrogant. The Assyrian is reaping what they have sown. Violence always lead to destruct its own destruction and the Assyrian Empire is reaping what it has sown. And we are reminded that God is sovereign. He's very much active in the world. He is the Lord of Lords and King of Kings. We forget that, don't we? He is the King of all kings. All the kings that has ever lived, all the kings that will ever um, come, to, uh, come to rule and come to, to the throne, God is the King above all these kings and he controls the destinies of each nation whether whether the nations uh, recognize it or not and we come to that question is the sin and judgment of Nineveh a warning to how our world looks like today it certainly is a warning and God will call upon uh, each nation and give an account of what they have done and how they have ruled and looked after the people who are uh, under them. Well, it certainly is a warning to our world um, and those nations that are ruling in uh, cruelty, taking advantage of the innocence and ruling with violence and steep in idolatry, not recognizing and trusting 
the Almighty God, the Sovereign God. What should our response be? Have you ever become discouraged with what you have seen in your own life or in the world around you today? The prophet Nahum also lived in a time of darkness where the people of God were heavily oppressed, but he is a covenant God and those people and those nations that, are, that come against the people of God, God calls them they're his own enemies. And Nahum reminds us that, you know, God is very much at work and active, working even in the darkest of times to bring justice and hope throughout the whole world. And our response is to put our trust in God, um, to know that he is a just and righteous God, and he's kind, but also severe. Uh, he is slow to anger and he's a refuge for us who take, uh, put our trust in him. Also, he will not leave the guilty and punish. God's righteous and just kingdom will ultimately rule and reign. So I just bless you. If you have found yourself in the midst of difficulty or uh, darkness, put your trust in the living God for he is your refuge. And I bless you that uh, to pray for the nations and to pray for your nation so that they may rule in, in justice and in the ways of God and to come to trust God so that they will not end up in destruction.